Welcome to another Cohesity Education video. I'm Alistair Cook and we're going to take a look today at a bit of automation. So far all of my videos have been clickety-clickety through the user interface and you can achieve an awful lot with Cohesity through the user interface. But it seems there's always some use case for doing things with automation and of course through vBrownBag we've been teaching you to automate all the things for years. So I thought I'd take a look at what it's like to automate Cohesity using, in particular, PowerShell, because that's what I use for most of this sort of automation. So here's my cluster. It's still sitting there. It's uh, getting a little full. I think I probably need to expand the capacity on this uh, virtual appliance again, or change my retention policy so I don't keep data for quite so long. That's a topic for another day. Today we're going to have a look at the PowerShell integration with Cohesity. And of course we start as always when you're researching something new with a quick Google search. Uh, so Cohesity PowerShell. Oh, there we go. Cohesity PowerShell module. I might have visited this site already. Cohesity do have a PowerShell module and it's up on GitHub. It's available to take a look at and you can have a dig through from it. I'm I have already checked that I've satisfied the prerequisites. I have PowerShell 5.1 installed on this Windows 7 machine. And so I'm going to move straight on to the setup. Now the nice thing is the setup is driven by the PowerShell gallery. So the Cohesity module is in the PowerShell gallery. I can pop into here and find the Windows PowerShell uh, command to install the module. So there it is, nice and simple. Copy that, pop down here into a PowerShell window and just run that single command. Now it'll pop up and, and ask me about installing some things and uh, shouldn't take too long to complete. We go, do I want to trust things and install things from a repository? Yes, I, I trust PowerShell Gallery. Small download and extract. While we're waiting for that to complete, there is a bunch of information in here about how to use and uh, FAQs and troubleshooting. Seems to be a fairly well put together PowerShell module. And there's some examples of things that you might want to do in here as well. How's that install coming along? And it's completed. Excellent. So if I start with the initial command, which will be a connect, uh, we've got a connect example. Uh, well, I guess we should check that the module's available and maybe install it if it's not already installed in this command prompt. There's the module. Uh, we'll pipe that to install module. And then go looking for, there we go, get command cohesity, see which commands we've got. Good, we've got a bunch of cohesity commands. Now those commands are all documented back here in the uh, GitHub site for cohesity. So cohesity.github.io and the PowerShell modules in here. And you can see there's lots of documentation down the side here on all of the commands. Uh, we need to start by connecting to our cluster. So we'll do this connect cohesity cluster. So here's an example to use. And we're going to connect by a cluster IP address. And this particular example will prompt up for credentials. Now that's not the IP address of my cohesity cluster. So I will just change that. 111.22, get some credentials, admin, admin, the default credentials, and it failed to connect, oh, because I put too many ones in there. There, much better. So I'm connected to the cluster. That's good. What do I want to find out? Well, let's take a look at this this list, this example here of a get cohesity protection job. That seems like a reasonable command to run. And I can see my two protection jobs. Uh, if I do a get member, 
that should show me all the properties that I have on a protection job object. Uh, I've been having a little look around at some of these and there's quite a lot of the types in here that are Cohesity specific and so there'll be a bit of research to, to log it, look into those as well. So that was one example. Now they do show us here the ability to go through and get some information about those Cohesity uh, jobs, those protection jobs and so, oh why don't I just use the copy to clipboard button. Cool. Uh, so this is to list the protection job start times as the example they've given us here. So you can see when I run that command it says that at 1210 my demi task job, so they've just chosen to show us the name not the type or any other, other information about it in this script, uh, will start and at 2am uh, my Outlook protection job will start. Other examples that we've got in here is to do things like uh, listing unresolved alerts. That seems like a good thing to be able to get out of Cohesity Platform fairly quickly through uh, some automation. I can see this being used as something like a, a part of the vCheck PowerShell script. If you're using vCheck at the moment you might want to have a plugin for Cohesity and maybe that's something I should uh, start writing. But the information in here isn't exactly formatted in the, the easiest way to read. So I've spent a little bit of time playing with, with changing some values. Uh, one of the things that I did was change the formatting of that protection job. So I did a, this very much the same command, but I slightly changed the layout of the output in there. So in mine, it actually says protection job demi task will start at rather than uh, just giving us the start time and the name of the protection job. And similarly, I've taken one with the alerts and I've written a version that will show us, uh, in this case, just the mo most recent five alerts, since that was a parameter in there, and will give us the text of those alerts. So that gives us the at this date, a warning alert said this information. Um, which seems to be a reasonably interesting thing to have. One of the things that wasn't in the examples, and I haven't spent a lot of time reading through all of the commands, was I wanted to identify all of the virtual machines in my environment that were not protected by a Cohesity protection job. I really would like to have auto protection set up and protecting all of my new virtual machines, but I also want to verify that it's working correctly and that virtual machines that I want protected are. So I've got this done in two lines. I've got a first line here which gets me a list of all the virtual machine IDs that are protected by VMware protection jobs. Interesting, the environment starts with a K to identify the environment. So we can pop that in here and get my protected IDs. And so if I now take a look at that protected ID list, there's just the, the numbers, the number IDs. I didn't store the virtual machine names in here, I've just got a variable that contains the identifier of every virtual machine that's protected by a Cohesity protection job. And then I use the get Cohesity VMware VM commandlet, which returns all of the known virtual machines. Right, so these are all the virtual machines that my Cohesity connection to vCenter has returned along with their IDs. So I use the combination of that variable that contains all the protected IDs and now a, a command that returns all of the IDs. And, and then I say if the ID of this particular machine, so iterate through the list of all machines, if it's not in the protected list then tell me it's not in the protected list that this virtual machine is not protected. So if I pop that down now into the command prompt, uh, we'll see that I'm returning now the names of the four machines that are not protected. So Cohesity, the actual virtual appliance itself, and then some other virtual machines that I've, I've got in place that are not currently protected. So what I produce then is this relatively short script here which gives me a snapshot of the state of my Cohesity environment. Let's just save that up and run that script. Yes, I do want to run this unsigned script. Connect to the cluster again. 
and then I get a, a bunch of information back out. Now here it's just thrown out to the screen, but I could very easily have redirected the output here into a text file or formatted it into an HTML file. Those are fairly standard things to be able to do with a uh, PowerShell script. So I can very quickly pull information out of my Cohesity environment, throw it into my existing PowerShell script, and I think this will be a nice thing to build a plugin for the VCheck health check for those who are using it to show you the, the health and any alerts that you should be aware of on your Cohesity environment. Okay. Nice things in it, I like that we have got an extensive list of all of the commandlets on the PowerShell module here. Uh, we can do quite a lot of things in here like setting up a protection source so you could register all of your vCenter servers. One of the things I think I will take a look at is using PowerShell to automate a robo deployment. So it'd be quite nice to have a single PowerShell script that would deploy the virtual appliance of your Cohesity cluster to a remote location and then do all of the configuration of that cluster at the remote location. I haven't looked to see how much I can get through of that and often the initial deployment is not something that's covered by PowerShell configurations, the setting up of the actual Cohesity cluster. So it'll be interesting to see how much we can do with this. Uh, but you can see there's quite extensive set of commandlets in here. We can make changes to protection jobs, we can start a protection job and so back up in the examples at the top it included the ability to do an on-demand backup. So here is run this particular protection job. So you need the, the list of protection jobs. So there is undoubtedly a get Cohesity protection job commandlet and that would get us back the IDs and the, here you can see we can do a manual start of a protection job. Quite often used as part of a CICD process, some sort of DevOps process where we want a, an immediate clone of some production system by running that protection job. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned, I'm sure I will be making more videos around using the Cohesity PowerShell module and integrating it with your existing PowerShell scripts. Yeah, just generally stay tuned for more of my learning about Cohesity. I'm Alistair Cook and you can check out all of this content on my blog at demitas.co.nz or nz for my American followers.